<laughs> the um, good thing about the glitter, well, it's, it's called Thermoflex in some places, but ours are just a glitter heat transfer material, is that you can use them without having a cameo. And um, there's, I just had stitched out my design up into my applique point. So I have the place where I need to set my red glitter. And there is a carrier sheet on this glitter flex or heat transfer vinyl that you need to peel away. And once you've peeled that piece off, this is just almost like a little piece of fabric. It's just a little flexible piece. And you'll lay that in your applique area. And you want to put it face up where the glitter side is up, not the dull side. It needs to be up. Okay. And then I'm going to just put my presser foot down and hopefully, yeah, have it placed in the right place. And then it'll stitch that down. You might want to use a contrasting thread because it's a little hard to see, especially if you're good at matching your thread colors. All right. So it has done the little basting stitch which is now just holding my square piece down. And I'll trim that away. <coughs> I love the little nippers for trimming. If y'all don't have a pair, you need some. But you don't have to do heat and bond light or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Lots of no, because this is so already fusible. Oh, that's oh. true. So once you're done, you're going to fuse it. So iron, okay. <coughs> and what I did last night was I took just the regular... Um, heat transfer. I didn't use the glitter, but you could. And I cut three inch squares and then I cut a blue one and I cut a white one and I did my half square triangles and I overlapped them and fused them to the shirt and to a quilt block on the front of my shirt. So I didn't have to have the cameo to do it. I just used, peeled the uh, carrier paper off and then cut it into blocks. Yes. No, oh no. It wasn't sticky at all. It um when after everything was done and you can fuse one at a time if you wanted and have it, you know, right next to each other and all. So okay, so we got that down. <coughs> then the next step I think is going to be I'm just using plain blue fabric for the band. Just gonna place do my place my stitch. Slide my blue fabric under and start again. have contrasting thread this time so I'm going to use my glasses. Okay, so there's my band using the extra strip from my strip pack that I did for my quilt. All right, it goes back on. Make sure my t-shirt's not under the hoop. And then it's going to put the placement line for the band of the hat. And I 
I wasn't sure how big of a piece to cut, so I got a big piece, but I can always save it. Glitter side up. <laughs> I was just about to ask. <laughs> Save any of your extra little pieces because you could use it. You may just need just a little bitty piece. So, uh, do you put it back on that carrier? I don't usually. Because of the sticky, yeah, you come out on that plastic. The only thing you would need to do that if you were um, going to use it in your cameo, but it's not sticky. The carrier place pieces sticky, but not the glitter flex okay. or the heat transfer. It doesn't get actually until the heat hits. Right. <coughs> it's very flexible if you pull on it. Oh. And this is the stuff we'll be putting in the, the little cup. Mm -hmm. yes. and whatever. Okay. Yeah, you pull and stretch. And All right, now there's my band. Oh, cute. Oh, oh, oh that cute. cute. Oh, mercy. Yeah. Put it back up. Thank you. Before you back up. Let me go back under the machine. I'm going to go over the heavy t-shirt. Do you think the little glittery things dull the needle? Like... You uh, it might would. I, uh, not right away. I mean, I wouldn't think it it would mess it up that much. It may dull it a little bit, and you have to change it a little quicker. But all right, I'm going to change my thread to red. Because now it's ready to do the satin stitch.